Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 167. Let's go ahead and get started. Father, I believe that at least I'd have you in my corner. But it hurts so much to be abandoned by you twice. I have no reason to be to keep living. This must be fake. This can't be her will. My daughter was too strong to end her own life. There's definitely something fishy going on. Uh, your grace. But the ladies in waiting who accompanied Lady Krista to Compshire testified that the will is leg leg legitimate. 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 What? They also said that she resented you the entire time she was in Compshire. She mentioned that when she was doing well, you acted as if you have moved mountains for her. But she felt you only cared about the younger duke and your grandchildren after she lost her usefulness. No, that can't be true. Those are lies. Ugh. It's that Emperor Henry. He did this. Oh my gosh. He closed off the house so that she'd wither away inside. While everything seemed fine from the outside. That bastard. I swear that I'll make him pay. The Remarried Empress, episode 167. I can't believe Krista's dead. We were both, we were rivals in both politics and love. So our relationship was far from cordial. But her death is still upsetting. I wish she had remained alive in Compshire instead. So I could freely hate her as much as I wanted. Meanwhile, the Marchioness Catron sent me these gifts. Flowers that symbolize our fleeting attempt at friendship. A top-of-the-line cradle that can I can neither accept nor give back. Give back. The Martianists likely acted alone in sending those gifts. But the fact that even Catron is switching sides must fill the Duke with fury. Indeed, not going to take this sitting down. Do you remember when we had an issue with the Eastern Empire? And he stood his ground when everyone tried to persuade him not to. He managed to get Grand Duke Ryland Roth to apologize in the end. Oh, yes. I really liked him for that. I was impressed by the way he blew up at the Grand Duke and asked if he thought our nation's small size meant our pride was just as small. We'll have to use his fiery temperament against him now that things have come to this. What about the will? Oh, he must have gotten it by now. But did your majesty really have to go that far? He must already be in agony over his daughter's death, even without a fake will asserting it. it is his fault. He did this to himself. I'm going to isolate him. After all, he tried to turn the nobles against me first. <laughs> Soon, we'll be able to see him go on a public rampage. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, the Manum Necklace disappeared. Yes, it disappeared without a trace. They managed to take it even with all the security measures in place. Come to think of it, Emperor Henry uses birds to communicate with Navier. Did he use them again this time? It will be difficult to continue our research at the moment. What can we do to minimize harm right now? I can't say for certain, but I would advise staying away from mana stones. We don't know what makes mana disappear or return. Good point. Pass that along to the Magic Academy. Of course, Your Majesty. His Majesty hasn't been spending much time with Her Highness recently. Is it due to the news about Empress Navier? Viscount Lotesu, Otis' son, is here, Your Majesty. Huh. Dun.
Alan Rimwell, at your service, Your Majesty. I summoned your father, not you. My father is currently away looking for my missing sister, so came in his stead. stead. Bring that child to me. Huh? Pardon? Why? I want to check something. Uh, huh? Did you not hear me? What an odd man. Mm -hmm. His hair is covered with a hat. But I can tell both his hair and eyes are like Rashtas. Wait here. Huh? Huh? That child looks exactly like Inn. I know they have the same mother. But how can they look so alike? Who's the child's father? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. You love that child so much that you even asked for us to bless him. Yet you're claiming you have no idea. I have a soft spot for him because I've been raising him. He's a lovely child. I see. Fine. Both of you are dismissed. Th th thank you. Thank you. I can barely get clothes made for Ian because of my father. That baby on the other hand. Um, wow. Oh, needed a moment. Okay. That was a lot. Even though it's just that, but yeah. Okay, well, with the whole Krista thing, someone did, someone did spoil it. Or maybe I did, I guess, miss, missed it when I read it last time about Krista's. So the person that was n unalive... <laughs> In the last episode, that looks like Krista is actually not Krista is a maid, and that will was forged as we found out this episode. So now, <laughs> Krista's father is gonna go super crazy, and Henry look is looking forward to it, and his evil looks terrifies me. And here now we see Sovashu meeting in, which is uh, Rasha's first child. And they do look like twins. The son and the daughter that he's holding right now. And I wonder what's going to happen next. You know, like, okay, he found this out, but what? Is he going to assume that maybe this guy here, I forgot his name. What's his name again? Um, that he might be the father of these both of these kids. Probably. I don't know. Well, I don't know why he just doesn't do, like, a DNA test with his daughter just to see if it's really his daughter, you know? I don't know. A lot is, a lot is going on in my brain right now. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm out of breath. I need a breather. If you guys enjoy the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, uh, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!